this week on Pink's All Out. Let's go, we need cars, come on! Racers, we're running out of time, let's go. That track wasn't right, they may have to run it again. Hey buddy. Hey. Here's the deal. I think that track got a little bit slick. She hasn't spun her tires all day. Go back there, race it one more time. I would do the same thing if it was you. No way, he won that fair and square. Flip a coin. Here All right, I love it. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Anybody got a coin? Go, let's go. He just said, I'm taking his word, not the crew I talked to the racer. Sonoma, California, known for its picturesque rolling hills, provincial charm, and award-winning vineyards. It's also the unlikely home of the world-class Infineon Raceway. And Pink's All Out has returned to shake up this quiet country town with some hardcore, heads-up, grassroots drag racing. Hey, you guys ready for a little Pink's All Out? We say! You have to do your job. And the first thing you need to do is run your cars. All out! That's it. If you do that, they're going to be just fine. Say hello to Clay Milliken, Willie B, Ken Herring, and Brian Bissell. I'm here to find out which one of you is going to be perfect today and who here is going to win that $10,000, OK? That's all we're going to worry about. California is where hot rod drag racing was born. And over the decades, the passion for the sport has only grown. It's about freaking time you guys come out here on the West Coast. This is great. This is the biggest thing going on in California right now. Pretty soon, the East Coast will be socked in in snow. We race till November out here. So is there a lot of local guys here, you think? Or? Oh, yeah. There's a, I came up with 10 guys. You know, we come and hang out together and just have a good time. Yeah, exactly. And the 10 grand helps, too. If you yeah, the money will help. You know? Yeah, exactly. And for some, it's an all-out obsession. Somebody's got way too much time on their hand, a plasma cutter. What's the mean of race here at your home track? My daughter helped me build this car. My wife tolerates us coming out here spending my daughter's inheritance and college funds. And with $10,000 on the line, all that passion turns Infineon Raceway into a pressure cooker. What do we got going here, man? What's going on over there? Uh, we know we got, a, we got a, a guy off the internet that talks a lot on the internet, but we're here in person. So, you know, I, I confronted him in person. If he talks like that, he'll be punching him out, right. whether he's with his dad or not. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing all that. Yeah. Where are you? Come on. Hey, Where are you? We're hey, not doing this. You got a problem? That's why we we're not doing this. Hey, hey, we're come not on, doing come this. Oh, we're not doing this, bro. He's just one of those guys who likes to talk shit, but he can't take it, take the talking shit back, so I'm really not, I'm not too worried about him. Hundreds of fired up racers swarm over Sonoma, only to be immediately pressed through two qualifying rounds. Round one tests their reaction time off the automated pro tree. We won't be waiting. We might be red light, but we won't be waiting. The tree will. It'll reveal your shortcomings. Bring me some cars, let's race! Round two brings the racers face to face with Rich and his arm drop. Ah, scared as hell. Bam, bam. I'm okay with the arm drop, because I stink on a 410 street. The last two racers cross the stripe and bring qualifying to an end. And back at the tower, Timing and scoring ref Brian Bassone sifts through the results and discovers an impressive field emerges from the all-motor mid-10 second class cars. And for only the second time in Pink's all-out history, 64 cars will be gunning for a spot in the Wix Filters all-out 16. I am shaking. I'm so excited about this. The following cars will be working for their shot at $10,000 on Pink's all-out. Car number 108. Yeah! 91! Good, get to your car, congratulations. Car 45. 45, good job. There you go, you got the greatest beard in the world. ZZ Top. Oh, I'm excited, I'm shaking inside, yeah. Car number 96. 96? 96, there you go. <laughs> Tired chicken zones, I'm on pink's all out, yeah! Car number 
43, 43. Oh, I'm excited, right? Look, my heart's pumping. I'm ready to go. And the final spot for a chance at $10,000 is car two, 53. I got picked. I'm 253, and we're in $10,000. The chosen 64 ready themselves for the first real test of their skills, the 64 car runoff. So excited, 64, man, and I made it? Wow, this is exciting, man. We get down to the final 16, it won't be routine anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be winning this one. No doubt about it. Let's fire them up. Let's race. Here we go. This wide open but airtight field of true red, white, and blue ironclad power gives it everything they've got to be one of the 32. Got him. Yeah. Let's go. We need cars. Come on. We're running out of time. Let's go. That's gonna be a lot of cars. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh, man. It was his 60th birthday today. <laughs> he needed to win. For the losers, the day ends here. But for the winners. Yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs> There's no time to celebrate. They have to hustle back to the starting line and practically hot lap their way through the 32 car runoff. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at your pink solo 32. Now it's great, it's fantastic. It's the third time, hopefully this time it's the charm. I'm tired of being a bridesmaid, man. I wanna win. Double time, the clock is ticking. Let's go, bring him up. Just bring them, let's go! It doesn't get any better than this, and I'll say it again, it does not get any better than this. This is the funnest show, funnest race I've ever been a part of. There's no NOS, there's no, you know, chips or electronics, or no tricks. I got nothing to pick it up like some guys do. You're gonna get everything my car has and everything I got at the launch, that's all I can do. Last pair, Will. John and Barbara. Barbara catch on the big end. No. Kenneth, that track wasn't right. They may have to run it again. Well, there was a track condition just went away. I don't know if somebody dropped something in front of her or what, and there was just no traction at all. There's nothing she could do. We'll see if we can rerun it. I want to rerun it, I, I, if I can. If the other racer agrees to it, I'd like to see that one rerun. Coming up, the fate of a rerun is left to chance. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Anybody got a coin? And later, Rich corners a possible cheat. Just happy break. If I can, if the other racer agrees to it, I'd like to see that one rerun. Pink's All Out is at Infineon Raceway. Why would there be a rerun? The last race of the 32 car runoff has just ended. Looks to me like she staged and the arms came down and I left her. But it may not be over yet. Hey, buddy. Hey. Here's the deal. I think that track got a little bit slick. It wasn't gripping. We needed to add VHT. We applied VHT right after she left. She hasn't spun her tires all day. Go back there, race it one more time. Her lane what wasn't track. What happened to the track within one path? It was a cumulative. All those cars run, it started getting a bald spot. I would do the same thing if it was you. You don't have to, but I want to talk about it. No way. Did you get the information I just gave? What do you mean, no way? Drag racing is drag racing. That, no, this is Pink's. Drag racing isn't drag racing. I try to make it fair. They're trying to make him rerun because she spun her tires. No way. He won that fair and square. And he's trying to say, oh, the track wasn't prepped right. No way. We could stage his tires. Flip a coin. All right, I love it. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. coin. Anybody got a coin? Let's go. Let's go. He just said, I'm taking his word, not the crew chief's. I talked to the racer. Tails. Tails, he's racing. 
That, that guy's a diplomat, huh? So we thought we were done. They're giving us a chance to rerun it on a prep track, so we're hoping for the best. I just say there's no do-overs in drag racing. They set everybody up, they're rushing everybody to go through. She's not the only person that got staged that way. And I think that he's going to regret giving her that second chance. He's going to go out there and smoke her again. All right, chicken. Let's go do it again, baby. Let's go have some fun. All right, here we go. It's a movie, it's going on so long. Bring John around, bring Barbara around, let's go. That's fair. Um, does the truck want is he still gets his length if he wants it? Oh, that's... yeah, I'm sure he'll take it. That's what I do. Ooh. Let me ask you. One final race for the last spot of the 16. He's gonna take the back tire like he, he was offered before. If he wants the back tires, good, line him up. Pretty cool, man. Take that back tire safe, right? And Barbara, he still gets the back tire. Yeah, you're gonna have to treat him and then I'll drive him. as fair as it gets, you know? She treated him so hard, it's a clean pass, she's moving on. <laughs> wow. We asked for two out of three, and she took him at the line. The, the race was square the first time out, but the, the fact that it went three rounds, and she won two of the three, I'd say she takes it, and I hope she does well in the 16. Barbara Winston's incredible comeback brings the Infineon Raceway 32 car runoff to an end and paves the way for the start of the Wix Filters All Out 16. I definitely earned my spot in the 16. I had to race my butt off for the two out of three. I've been three years, I'm, I'm pretty calm. I'm just want, I just want to take the money, that's all I want to do. This is my third time, hopefully it's the charm. Winning the first two rounds, man, this is, this is great. Dolly's great scout for you, baby, yeah! <laughs> that's my son. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to our pinks all out. Wix Filters All Out 16. Give it up. Good job, guys. Yeah, that's good. All right, hey, racers, you get to enjoy inside that Wix Filters box a hat, a t-shirt, and most importantly, a $550 certificate and to go online and get all the great Wix Filter products that you want to get. They're awesome. So listen, really, thank you for doing what you do for drag racing. Thanks for being here with all of us. You know, I appreciate it. Barbara, great job on staying in the competition. Hang in there. You miss the arm drop, you're going home. You jump the arm drop, you're going home. Get out of the groove, you're probably going home. You spin your tires, you're going home. You go too fast, you're going home. Other than that, it's a piece of cake to win that money. If you're smiling and laughing right now, you're losing. This is the time to get serious and focus and get to that finish line first, all right? Good luck and let's race. Let's go, double time to your cars, all right? The racers motor back to their cars. I, I've gotten this far. Take all their money. Ready to mash their pedals to the floor to earn their spots in the U.S. Army 8 and $500 cash. Everything will be good. All out, baby, all out. OK, you're ready to rock, buddy. Get our help. Now the racers are racing for money and a shot at the Pink's All Out 8. Will, why don't you tell us about the racers? All right, Rich, here we go. We have John. He's riding a 63 Chevy 2. Believe it or not, this is his third Pink's. He's never been picked, never made it this far. I ran down in Bakersfield with it and split the cylinder wall after your last pink show. But hey, that's racing. 
He is going against a 1969 Chevy Camaro. I'd like to say hello to his three daughters and wife. They're all here throwing down the support. I'm doing what I want. You know, I had cars until I got married, got a family and a house, I lost it, and I picked it back up in my 50s. You know, I got that equity checkbook, and I went out and did what I wanted to do. started already. This is great. I was a little slow, I thought, on Rich's arm drop. I really couldn't see him. He's kind of way in my mirror. Thank God I got him out in front of him by a little bit and kept it all the way through the end. Racing's a lot of fun when you win, but when you lose, man, it just tears you up for a couple days. Now what do we got coming up? Go ahead, Will. All right, we have Steve Tripper in the 1971 Plymouth Duster. Used to be a show car. He got tired of looking at it. Decided he wanted to race it. As soon as I see a threat from him, I let go of the button and I go. And that threat is his arms coming down, making sure I beat the other guy off the line. He's going against Warren. He came here to load Mopars. Get the Mopar! Getting ready to let go of that button. Hang on. Have a good time. Separated that wheel stander. Hail the tree, man. Had him at the light. He got off the starting line. The front end came up pretty good. Anyways, I was catching him on the top end and right at the finish line, it looked like his front end kind of dipped down a little bit. And either his car was missing or he tapped his brakes a little bit, which means I think he was bagging a little. Coming up. Sandbagging. One racer has some explaining to do. How do you sandbag when you're running all out? And later, <laughs> the feisty fire chicken returns to tackle another Chevy. Pink's All Out is at Infineon Raceway. The second race of the All Out 16 has just been run, but the loser cries foul. I mean, either his car was missing or he tapped his brakes a little bit, which means I think he was bagging a little. Sandbagging? How do you sandbag when you're running all out? Well, poor sportsmanship. I'm here to go all out. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. He's saying you lifted at the end. How can I lift? You got the numbers. He probably didn't lift. I, I, he tapped the brake. He stayed on the gas, and I think it bit him at the end. And he tapped the brake a little bit. Probably out of habit. He made a mistake. Do you think you did that or not? I Let's mean, look at the numbers. All you guys are bracket racers. I mean, it is one of those things you do, tighten up at the finish line. That's if we go, if we go check the mile an hour, we'll we'll see. Oh yeah. Who, who saw them tapping the brake? They raced each other. They raced each other. He said he was watching. Tap your brake? No. Say it again, Brian. 128, 127, 129, 129, 128, 127. So, 129, 127, he shaved about two miles an hour off. No, those are runs from <laughs> Friday to here. Car's deadly consistent. Well, it kind of is poor sportsmanship, but you know what? We checked the numbers and we got it figured out. I'm hungry. I'm ready to kill some more Mopars. We don't break for Mopars. We don't. We don't. And Willie, who do we got? Here we go. Joe Brown in the 1970 Duster. He's been a monk bar guy. Him and his wife got married in their 68 GTX. What's it going to take is me pay attention to my own business and do what I'm in control of. Now we stacked him against a 1968 Dodge Charger RT. 500 cubic against the big block Chrysler under the hood. Make sure you're on the button. Make sure you're on Rich. And make sure when he flinches, you're gone. Point 
feet, one feet. Charge is moving on. <laughs> he caught me. So it's just big block power to small block power is what it is. I'm uh, watching Rich like a 16 year old with a centerfold. I'm not taking my eyes off of him. You know, I've been here before and I, I think I got caught up in it a little bit. I'm not here for the cameras, I'm here to win. I want that money. Willie, who do we got? All right, you're gonna love this next matchup. Sergio in a 1965 Mustang Fastback. He's won the West Coast Pro Gas Association two years in a row right here at this track. Anytime you go drag racing, I call it 50% luck, and you know, everybody's here. There's no fish here, right? Everybody's a competitor. He's going against Vern Jose in a 1970 Nova. Big block Chevy under the hood. Did all the work himself. It's only one way. All out, man. All out. to show but I'm excited. Of course I'm excited. We're in the money rounds, baby. We're making money now. Mama's happy. It had to be a winner, had to be a loser. But uh, the, the Mustang was fast. He was fast. Look at it. They're just lined up waiting for you, Will. Let's keep it going. A little Ford Ford matchup. Indeed we do. We have Bryant Wiltz in the left lane in a 1965 Ford Mustang. It was his daily driver until his wife outran him and he decided to rebuild it as a race car. I've had two 001 lights. How many guys are going to do 001 lights? He's going to get to 87 Mustang. Now this is Joe Peckabar. Joe says this thing looks like a street car but runs like a race car. I'm hard working, I'm dedicated and uh, I build a real good motor. Yeah! I started looking out of the peripheral right off the line and I didn't see anything, so I, at that point I usually knew. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to stay calm. <laughs> I mean, I had to pedal to the metal, and he went around me, so I, I was, hey, I just, I lost. Willie, next. Here we go, Steve Oder in 1969 Chevelle. Used to drive this car every day back and forth to work, but he got one too many excessive display of power tickets and decided to make it a race car. You know, we're not used to doing that arm drop. We're used to using the lights, so it's, it's different, but it's great. Now, Randy Guitar is in a 1951 Heavy Chevy. He would like to say this car has made it through three divorces with them. A lot of us old guys used to street race, and this is just a great event to get away from that. Tires went away. We were doing uh, wheelies all day yesterday, and we started messing with the tire pressure today because the tires went away, and we just couldn't hook. Oh man, that, that was one of the hardest launches I ever done. It just felt great. Went out, carried the wheels. I kept looking for him. Never did see him. All right, two spots left, Willie Day. We have Ron Anderson. Now he's in a 1967 Chevy Camaro. He bought the car just like it is right now when he was 21 years old. Says he almost takes better care of this car than he does his own wife. I'm the lucky wife, all right. Oh, it's <laughs> It's just, you know, hey, you know, it's luck of the draw. Now he's going against Gregory Gebhardt. Gregory is in a 1968 Camaro. This guy earns it. He's fixed three or four cars just this weekend helping people out. Running the car wide open, heads up, Northern California style. Great start, got out on him. He was catching me a little bit, but I think he ran out of racetrack. Good race, good race. You always got a winner and a loser. All right, Willie. All right, the final race to get into the Peaks All Out 8, Rich. We have Ron Manley in the 1968 Camaro. Owned a car 20 plus years, he built it in 87. I, I need to win this. 
I will be the uh, 2010 Pink's Infineon champion. Now he's going to be going against Barbara Winston. I will say Barbara's something else. Her daughter races, she races, her husband races. The back of her trailer says, Families that race together, stay together. She's got racing in her blood, Rich. When they called our number, I mean, I kind of just stood there for a half second went, until my daughter started screaming and grabbed me, and then I was like, oh, that was my number. That was my number. Coming up... He's my engine builder. Friend is pitted against friend. Yeah, I'm his engine builder. We're good friends, man. Good luck, guys. Take it out on the track. And later, one racer pushes his car to the brink. Looks like they're towing him. Yeah, they're towing him. It's the last race of the Wix Filters All Out 16 at Infineon Raceway. Nine one hundredths of a second, 17 feet, Barbara is going home. Car left awesome and uh, just ran it all out. Stayed ahead of her the whole way. She never could catch me. It's racing. You know, you win some, you lose some. I've been racing for a few years now, and you can't win them all. If you want them all, it would you know, nobody would be racing. It'd be too easy. Sixteen gave it their all, but only eight are moving on to race for seven hundred fifty dollars and a hard-fought spot in the Pink's All Out Four. All right, to get things started, first of all, racers, how about five hundred dollars for your time and effort? Right five hundred. Thanks, buddy. Five hundred and five hundred. Kenneth. We have eight racers. Eight racers need to be paired up, so there's four pairings. Tell me who's going to be racing in the first race, and how come we picked those racers? All right, first race, we have John and Brian. All right, where's John? Right here. And Brian. OK, Brian, where are you at? All right, hey, look at this. Do you have any idea why Ken Herring would have paired you two up? Thoughts, John? I have no idea. Brian? No. Nope. Ken? But you guys both went to the 16 and all out. Ah, you guys have been to the 16 before in the All Out, so that's where it's going to take you guys, eliminate you guys out. At this point, I can just say shake hands. Racers, good luck, and get to your cars, all right? Good job. Last time I did this, I uh, lost them in the lights, and I'm not, I'm not doing it again. I got to work on, work on Rich's arm drop and just really concentrate. I don't really worry about who's next to me, just on Rich. I shifted into high gear, and I couldn't, he was right by, by my door. It was just great, man, I couldn't believe it. I was on it. I mean, I left right when Rich threw his arms, and uh, I never caught him. Now we have the second race, OK? Ken Herring, who do we have? We have Warren and Steve. Warren, step out. Steve, step up to me. All right, why you two? Any idea? No idea. Well, I don't know. All right, Kenneth. These guys are almost dead even match DT-wise. Oh, good. Which will be important because we had a little controversy saying. 29, 127, he's shaped about two miles. But we're saying there is no room. Racers, shake hands. You're dead even on the ET. Good right. luck. And let's race the second race to get to the Pink's All Out 4. Make sure the batteries are charged and fuel's in there. And stay on top of Rich's arms. Boy, I mean, you know, back when it was a street car with the four speed, we used to have a great time out driving around getting in a little trouble out on the street. Watching Rich real close. 
do my burnout the same, stage the same. I just let off the button, off his arms. Great race. He had me off the line. We were evenly matched. You know, we were like front to back bumper most of the way down the track. You know, just never had a chance to catch him. There's four racers. Who's the next two for the third race for Pink's All Out Four? We have Ron Manley and Gregory Gebhardt. OK, Ron, Gregory, you've come a long way today. Now the pressure's on. Any idea why you're matched together? Don't have a clue. No. Kenneth? All right, the reason we match these guys is you guys are the two most consistent racers we have in the All Out 16. Wow. You guys run the same ET every single lap. You are the most consistent racers on the property. Shake hands, get your cars, good luck, and let's see if you can get to the finish line first. Doing the best I can. I'm here to win. Car runs awesome. I'm, I feel I'm doing a pretty good job. Trans brake will be set. Motor will be buzzed up six grand. We'll go off and rip off another 10 second pass. Here we go. separated that race. I tried to catch Rich right when I saw his shoulder starting to flinch. And then after we got out of ways, uh, he pulled up about a quarter fender and stayed right there. He never could get around me. Car left great. I thought it was time to get off of Rich's arm drop. He had more car than me and ran away from me on the top end. I didn't have enough car. Sergio, Joe, do you have any idea why Ken Herring would have paired you two up? He's my engine builder. <laughs> yeah, I'm his engine builder. We're good friends, man. Good friends take money. And what we do is what happens is one time we get friends, we split the friends up. Because if racers just made deals, you know, then they're not racing. They're just doing an exhibition. So you guys are friends. Hug it out. Shake hands. Get to your cars. And this will be the fourth race. Good luck, guys. Take it out on the track. He's built my motor for the past four or six years. I, my motor broke in April. He put it all back together for me. And uh, here we are. We're both here together. You know, I didn't want to race my buddy, but now I see the way you guys set things up. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Coming up, Ken calls out two more pals. And the bonus is, actually, we did know these guys are actually friends, too. OK, good. Get rid of them. And later, one finalist isn't messing around. He knows the game because those few amps can literally cost you $10,000. It's the fourth race of the U.S. Army 8 at Infineon Raceway. That was a good start, and the builder takes home the win. I felt like we both came out equal. I thought I had him in the whole shot. He just came on the big end. No, that's where he got me. His heads flow a lot better than mine. He's my engine builder. So you know he's going to put a little something extra in his motors. Man, I looked over. He was right there, right next to me. And I knew it was. I mean, I built that motor, so. I mean, we're good friends. Our cars run pretty much dead on. Yeah, it's bittersweet. Eight raced for one of four spots. The competition is only getting tighter as the all-out four prep to battle for a solid grand and a spot in the final. And I'm down to last four cars. Do exactly what I did. Tree them, run it all out. I should take it. You know, I, the track's getting a little bit cold, you know, and I got a small tire and it affects it a little bit. I'm always worried about a little cold track, so I did one of those crazy burnouts. And then, uh, like I said, after got up to Rich, I was just keyed on him. Just look down track, make sure I'm straight, and pay attention. I'm on my game. All right, Joe, John, Joe, here you go. 750, John, 750. Um, Ken Herring, why the pairing at the Ford Chevy Showdown? All right, actually, we paired them because they were they were actually within a couple of thousandths of each other the last round. Okay. And the bonus is, actually, we did know 
these guys are actually friends too. Okay, good. Get rid of them. <laughs> you know, seriously. He a Ford. Your friendship. <laughs> yeah. How, how good of friends can you be when you're Ford and Chevy guys, right? <laughs> this is for a shot in the finals. Can both your cars hold up if you make it to the Pink Stall final for a potential two out of three? Yes, no. Yes, it can. Oh yeah. Shake hands, racers. Get to your cars. Go, go, go. Let's do it right now. Let's race. The only thing you got on me is a big tire. <laughs> big tire. Hey, and the track's getting cold, so we'll see. It's going to be tough. Been having, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Chevy Ford Showdown. At least one of us is going to the finals. It should be me. I'm going to treat Joe. Chevy against Ford. We'll see what happens. He's got a big tire, but I'm going to give him everything I've got. I'm going to win this one. Good. Here we go. Bam. Bam. We got him. Y'all messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, shot at him. Tureen him. Something must have happened with Joe, because I. All I looked over and he was like at my door the whole way down. I don't know if he spun or what. I feel bad for him, but somebody's got to win, and I'm glad it's me, man. Right out of the hole, he had me by about a half a car length, and it stayed that way all the way down, you know? That's the way it goes. All right, Ron, here's your 750. Bucks. Warren, 750. Kenneth, why? You know what, these guys, it's the same deal. All these guys are almost dead even on ET. These guys are within a couple of hundred, so I mean, it's, it's dead even racing. It's a good matchup, we think. Ron, what is it that you're going to do specifically to take out that other Chevy? My car is set up to run. I've had the car for 30 years, and you can see what I've been doing to you all night. You have not gotten out of the groove once today. You're no. a consistent racer, so good job. Warren, that's, he's been bad to the bone. Tell me, what's it going to take to take out Ron? Going to have to cut off your arm and just let it rip. I had the car for four years. It's consistent. It's deadly. A machine. You know that in every single pass you've made this weekend, you've only been off by 1.5 mile per hour. Yeah. That's how consistent he's it's been. It's a machine. It's a machine. This is for a 50% chance at $10,000, a shot in the Pink's All Out Finals, and $1,000. Racers, shake hands, get to your cars, and let's race. Come on now, guys. It's a Chevy Chevy showdown. It's going to be a Chevy Chevy final for sure here on Pink's All Out. Car runs awesome. Everything's working fine. I've been treating pretty good, I believe. Keep going, and I'll be, uh, I'll be the winner. You know what you gotta do. I got all night. Exactly. What are you gonna go out here and do for us? I'm gonna win it. Gonna win it? All right, buddy. Thank you. Here we go, Rich. Let's go, Warren. Coming up. Ron and Warren stay dead even down to the stripe, but only one can win. And later, John is first to the final and wasting no time. John is already in the left-hand lane, already put gas in his car, already checked his tire pressure. He is absolutely bulletproof and ready to go. It's race two of the Pink's All Out Four at Infineon Raceway. It was Warren, it's a clean pass. It's Warren, moving on. He made it to the finals, you guys. That is freaking amazing. Trade him. I'm doing my job. The car's doing its job. It's incredible. Just can't believe it. Uh, I th I thought I had it on the on the starting line, but he got out on me a fender, and I couldn't catch him after that. He just stayed ahead of me. Hundreds of passionate California racers steamrolled into Sonoma, dead set on racing for ten thousand dollars. Sixty four got that chance. They were quickly cut down to thirty two, then sixteen, eight. Four, and now it's down to the last two. 
both classic 63 Chevy 2s about to go fender to fender in the best of three hot lap final for all the money. Check this out. John is already in the left-hand lane, already put gas in his car. He is absolutely bulletproof and ready to go. It's about the smartest thing I've ever seen racers yeah, he's do. He's already, already in the water box. They got everything on it. I have never seen You know what they're trying to do. <laughs> they're, I mean, look, they're already in the water box. So they know if they get in the water box, it's going to force this dude to have to come you know around. What? That's the lane they want. Yeah. You know what? They've watched this show a time or two. They've yeah. already got all of it figured out. <laughs> yeah, get that thing fired up. This guy's been charging for a minute. But here's $1,000. Here's $1,000. John, you're cool at the left, obviously. Do you want the left of the entire race, or do you want to flip after the first race? I'm happy in the left. It makes it easy. Oh, really, Warren? Why the right-hand lane? Been running it all day. You have, and you've been running the left hand lane all day. Isn't that weird? Two Chevy 2s, 263s, running in the same lanes. This could be a great race. This is Pink's All Out. Final. You're a 50% way, 50% chance away of $10,000 cash. It's a hot lap 203. It takes two races to win. If you get out of your car, you're disqualified. This is it. This is what I live for. Shake hands, racers. Get to your cars right and let's race. We're going to see if experience will outweigh Ooh. the newbie, the rookie, his first time on Pink's All Out. So here they come with their gasoline. John's got a battery charger on his car. He knows the game because those few amps can literally cost you $10,000. This is it. This is like when you're going for a championship. It's like winning, you know, you've been there before. You know how it feels. It's competition. It makes you feel really good. I got one really important question. Yeah. Why Hollywood on the window? My wife gave it to me. Tell me the story behind that. Used to be them, wear them big old white Oakleys. Says it looks like a Hollywood TV person. <laughs> so there you go, you're Hollywood. Yeah. Warren Hollywood. I am so proud of him. He's come a very long way. You know, behind every great man is a good woman. Hell yeah. Two out of three? Two out of three. You ain't got to put the belts off and on anymore tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, Hollywood. at the finish line. That was a quick arm drop. Did you see that? Bam! We might have been outgunned just a little bit. This is it. Tonight's Boots' is night. John is one race away from $10,000. Coming up, Warren's down, but he's not out yet. Will his car hold together? Will his nerves hold together? Will all the things he's worked towards hold together? Let's find out. It's down to the second race of the Pink's All Out Best of Three Hot Lap Final at Infineon Raceway. All right, John is one race away from $10,000. Will his car hold together? Will his nerves hold together? Will all the things he's worked towards hold together? Let's find out. The right lane must win. Let's see the burnout. the name of the game. I'm very proud of him, and this is what he's fabulous at. Flashing lights at the top of the track. Looks like they're towing him. Yeah, they're towing him. How bad? So it sounds like a seal in the Oh, OK. 
John, tell me about your race. What happened in that first race? The first race, he got out on me. Yeah. And like I said, usually my little car doesn't motor down the big end too well, but I guess there's not a big wind blowing. So it motored by him. Um, uh, on, that, on that first pass, Warren, would you agree that John got you that first pass? Yeah, it was way out on him, and then he just wheeled me in. I know, right? <laughs> and then the second race, would you agree that John got you? Oh, yeah. Then it's my pleasure to award you $10,000 in the championship. Yeah, that's it! But now we do Clay Milliken Award. This is it. There's only one of these in the world, John, and you are officially the Infineon Champion 2010 for Pink's All Out. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it, all right? Good. Yeah. Good job, buddy. John Brucarette's third time turned out to be the charm. His cool grin hit a deep-seated fire that burned through hundreds of racers to clinch the title of Infineon Raceway Champion. It's just been wonderful, man. Like I said, I couldn't ask for anything more right now.